I'm Matthew Drutt and this is Ion Art. In this week's segment, we're looking at art and technology, three very different ways in which artists use computers, machines, uh, even audio components to make their work. So come on along for the ride and take a listen. We're at Murray Guy Gallery at Sergei Cherepnin's first solo exhibition with them. A fourth generation Russian artist who lives and works in New York, uh, Cherepnin was actually trained as a composer and comes from a family of musicians. His exhibition at Murray Guy is exemplary of his ability to turn everyday objects into audio experiences. He sends the sound waves and signals through the objects that actually amplify them into the noise that you'll hear. There's a subway bench that's been turned into a vibrating uh, bench, kind of like the experience of sitting in the subway when a train rumbles by. Behind me are sheets of discarded scrap metal, which sound like there's wind rustling through them right now. They're actually uh, sound vibrations being transmitted through the steel. Uh, that's slowly going to build into a kind of orchestration of different kinds of computer blips, vibrations, uh, and other kinds of noise, very much in keeping with the idea of musical composition. We're at Barbara Gladstone Gallery at Miroslav Balka's exhibition, The Order of Things. Balka is an artist who lives and works in Poland, and over the 30-year period of his career, he's built a body of work that's kind of steeped in the minimalist idiom. Balka's work actually take on a kind of uncharacteristic meaning, uncharacteristic for minimalism, that is. Um, they're very symbolic, uh, alluding to tragedy, destruction, and this current exhibition uh, is exemplary of that. Uh, inside, it's so loud, I have to talk to you out here. Uh, there are two giant Corten steel containers. They're each 12 foot high. And approaching the gallery, it sounds like there's a waterfall inside. It's very compelling, meditative, uh, hypnotic, uh, and a little bit tragic. We're at 303 Gallery, standing in Doug Aitken's fifth solo exhibition with them, entitled 100 Years. Aitken is an artist who lives and works in New York and Los Angeles. His work deals with audiovisual, syncopated, orchestrated rhythms, sonic fountain behind me, which is a kind of apocalyptic looking milky glowing pool of water into which water from overhead is dripping into it, slowly building in a kind of musical composition that ends up in a kind of cacophony of sound. 